Ethiopia is a nation in northeastern Africa, in the region known as the Horn of Africa. It's an ancient country of wonder, awe, and inspiration beyond human description. Its geographic location, massive geomorphological changes, and series of migration events have played an unparalleled role in shaping the ecology and ethnicity that we witness today. A noticeable feature about Ethiopia's topography are the distinct highland masses separated by the deep incision of the Great Rift Valley, which runs from the northeast to the southwest, carving its way down through the country. As a result of the great variety of habitats, Ethiopia's diverse animal species and bird life are astounding, with a multitude of endemics dwelling in this wonderful, undiscovered country. The Rift Valley has its own ecosystem and bird life, dramatically different from the highlands, which differ again from the southwest wetlands and the southern forests. All are awaiting discovery. To protect these habitats and the wildlife they contain, Ethiopia has more than 14 national parks. This is a documentary highlighting seven of the national parks of Ethiopia, each of which offers a unique source of wonder as we journey through Ethiopia. The landscape, wildlife and beauty thrills the senses as it unfolds before one's eyes, imparting awe-inspiring scenery and a diversity of mammals and bird life on this film journey, we shall take you through the high mountains of Bali and the Simians, through the Rift Valley parks, out west to Gambela, and finally south to Maze, the Omo Valley, and Chibeda Chuchua. The start of our journey takes us 500 kilometers southeast of Addis Ababa to the Bale Mountains National Park. The park stretches from the Gese grasslands to the north, home to herds of endemic mountain Nyala and to reedbuck, warthogs, and olive baboons. It then climbs to the Seneti Plateau, Africa's largest expanse of Afro-Alpine habitat, all over 3,800 meters above sea level, rising eventually to the heights of Mount Tulu Dimtu, the highest peak in southern Ethiopia, at 4,377 meters. The Afro-Alpine habitat of the Seneti Plateau is the largest on the continent and home to the world's rarest canid and Africa's rarest carnivore, the Ethiopian wolf. Three quarters of Ethiopia's 500 wolves inhabit the plateau, a mammal three times rarer than giant pandas. The wolves feed on the endemic rodents of the plateau, 
favoring the large giant mole rats and Blix grass rats, which provide a tasty meal in the unforgiving highland landscape. These rodents also form the diet of the raptors of the plateau, lammergeiers, golden eagles, steppe eagles, and auger buzzards can all be spotted soaring overhead, spying their prey. There are so many endemic species in the Bale Mountains that it has been estimated that more mammal species would go extinct were the habitats of the Bale Mountains to degrade than if any other area of equivalent size on the globe were to disappear. Rated by the African Bird Club as the number four birding site in Africa, it is home to over 280 bird species. Furthermore, the Bale Mountains National Park harbors 40% of the thousand known species of medicinal plants in Ethiopia, and a bamboo forest that represents 3% of Africa's natural bamboo, which is home to the rare and endemic Bale monkey. The whole park is home to many of the 18 bird species endemic to Ethiopia. The blue-winged goose, the rarest and most isolated goose in the world. The black-headed siskin. The mysterious Abyssinian long-eared owl. The Cape Eagle owl and the wood owl. They all provide highlights of bird watching in Bali. Deep inside the Harina Forest is the breathtaking Bale Mountain Lodge, located in one of the most amazing places on Earth. Its location in a forest clearing under the high escarpment gives an unparalleled opportunity for guests to experience a natural but comfortable retreat in the wilderness. The giant forest hog can frequently be seen around the lodge, whilst the famous but rarely seen Abyssinian black-maned lions also make occasional appearances. Many different types of wildlife can frequently be spotted. Bali Mountain Lodge is the perfect setting from which to explore the Geise grasslands, Saneti Plateau and Herena Forest, and the dry Rift Valley just to the south, which make up the Bali Mountains National Park and really do give meaning to the One Park, Many Worlds title. Over the past couple of years, the Bali Mountains National Park has become more accessible 